In this short video, I'd like to highlight a potential process for updating assemblies within the Vault client without having to open up Inventor and manually update them when components change within the assembly. So there are risks to this process. It's obviously better to go through Vault Professional workflow and actually make sure that changes to components are good for the assemblies. But uh, for some types of changes, this could be a really effective way to update uh, a large group of assemblies very quickly. So the whole idea is that we have a part, and within the part we have where used. So I just, for sake of simplicity, I'm only having one assembly. So we would do the whole process of getting and checking out this part, which I've already done. <clears throat> and inside of Inventor, you see it here. And then I'm just going to check out this file <clears throat> and add a simple feature to it. So I'm just going to create a simple cylinder like so and then we'll save and check that into the vault. Something like that and go ahead and hit OK and now if we come back to vault we can refresh and see that we do indeed have a new change. So what we can do then is we can look at the where used, figure out what additional assemblies those are located in, and then we can go to those assemblies. And by changing a property within that assembly component, say for example the comment, and we can say added a top cylinder 2T. Click OK. And what happens is it will actually update that assembly based on the change of the part. And just to kind of verify that that happened, we can look at our version 6 and we can update the DWF file <clears throat> and see the change has occurred. And we'll just take a moment or two and then we'll be able to see the change. And there is our change. So if we look here, we can see that that <clears throat> T cylinder now includes that cylindrical top. So <clears throat> this process could potentially be automated if we look at the T washer and the where used. A routine could be created that recursively looks through the list of where used and then updates those assembly files. <clears throat> so yeah, hope this was uh, helpful and lets you know what the potential workflow is within Vault Client to update all sorts of assemblies without having to open them manually and update them in Inventor. But again, the risk is that you'd make a change that are actually bad for those assemblies. So this is not necessarily a best practice workflow.